Say to Jesus, O oh Lord Jesus. Thank you for loving me. And dying in my place. Give me the grace. To know you. To follow you. Up to heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. To God be the glory. Amen. Good morning. A Christian must possess, must be possessed with the Holy Spirit. One eight Acts of Apostles. What does it mean? But you shall receive power mm. when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. If you have the Holy Spirit and you don't have power, I question you. Brother, good morning. Good morning. Good, mo good morning, brother. Good morning, brother. How are you, brother? Good morning. Good morning, brother. How are you? How are the you? brother is not left the same. He's touched. The neighbors are touched. <coughs> What's brethren? Lord, this one goes also. So I must possess Jesus. I must possess Jesus. Not just to claim. Not just to claim. I must possess him. I must possess him. What is going on? The power is too much. Eh? Ooh, what is too much? The Holy Spirit. Ooh, Jesus, it's too much. Ooh, it's amazing. Thank you, Jesus. You must do what? Jesus. Why are you surprised? <laughs> My name is Akaho Johannes from Botswana State in South Africa. Yes. What surprises me most is the manifestation of the word that you teach right now. Mm -hmm. How you unfold this Bible that we normally carry. So hearing the word and seeing what is happening surprises me. Is this a man like us? Or what? So we need to have Jesus so that we can be like you. Am I not a human being? <laughs> you are a prophet. You are, but uh, the difference is we don't have the ability there's no any other way than receiving him into your life. There's no magic in this. Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? That is the biggest question. But Kakande is just a normal. Yes, prophet. Touch. So what is happening to the gentleman? What is it? <laughs> is it not the normal hand? It is. It is. It, it looks so. Huh? It looks normal. It looks. <laughs> <laughs> it looks normal, but it's not normal. <laughs> mm. Thank you. Thank you. What happened? There is, a, there is a power that I cannot explain, but it's not seated power. It's just power that moves me from inside. Hallelujah. Amen. Christians must be possessed with the Holy Spirit. What is it, sir? My name is uh, Tsanga Machia. I'm from Zambia. I've heard so many pastors touch these scriptures. They're not different, it's the same Bible, but your ability, the way you've relayed the information and the message, simply amazing. And you've made us realize that we must have Jesus in us so that we possess the power. 
Because Jesus is the ability. Hallelujah. Amen. What is it, Mama? My name is Pastor Esther Simbeya from Zambia, Mfrira. The only issue you should watch about is your mouth. Something happens small. Ha, ha, ha. You're like... So, quarreling should not be a business in your pastorship before you talk anything. Where's your husband? That is the problem. He remains at Zambia. Now, who is the husband? You or him? She's the one chief controller? My name is Lucky Simbe. I'm from Zambia. Uh, uh, the woman that was just from speaking is my mother. Is your mom? My mom, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. She's my mom. Mm -hmm. Joseph. Joseph, come here. Uh, what you just said, man of God, uh, happens. It's true. Mm -hmm. She's had uh, quarrels with a lot of different people. Yes. Even uh, how she came up... Uh, Forming up our own church was because of uh, having problems with other church members. And that's what uh, exactly made me get up because it was relating. Uh, she's almost like um, the head of the house. She, can, she controls that that can't say anything. Whenever she comes up with anything that she wants, it has to go up with you, whether it's wrong or right. The children are coming out and say, eh, our mom is fire. <laughs> but behind the fire you are talking about, you people in the background, you have mental problem. And this is the problem troubling you, woman. This now she has all that anger, whatever, is little, a bit little in her. But in the family, I see mental. Uh, this tool... Boys, uh, my sons, the prophecy is true about a mad person. Uh, this picture, what I heard is my sister. She's mad from childhood. Then he had a boy, even him, he is mad. So what the man of God said is true. I quarrels my husband, my children, and many people. So I ask God to forgive me. I just wanted to settle her issue. They have no peace at home, whether with the children, whether with the father of the children, there's no peace. And yet she's a pastor. Her ministry cannot settle if we don't remove this mental issue. She's not mad, but she has a portion of mental issue. She's disturbed. Yes? Yes. She cannot have peace. No, 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 no. And yet she's a pastor. What about the people you are leading? If I'm here for Jesus, I should help you. Pastor Esther from Zambia receiving her deliverance. Thank you, man of God. Jesus, they were out. Picking. It was a very bright book. Receive your freedom in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus, for sitting in prayer. My name is Eden Tau. I come from Malawi. My issue is, I started a business long time ago, but I have never seen profits in it. You people received the instructions from the dead man about the property and the land. It's true, my God. Yeah. You disobeyed. That is why you people are getting poor. 
your business cannot go because you disobey the instructions. Man of God, what you said is very true. My father had a farm, almost f- more than 40 acres. He instructed us not to sell that farm. But after death, we sold part of it. <laughs> Leaving the side where the house is. Now you're complaining, your businesses, you do, they don't. But you sold what was important, a value in your life. What was left for the family, you sold it instead of working upon the family. The father said, no, 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 no. They did so bad what I told them. Now, what do you want me to say? I ask Jesus to forgive me for the salvation of my soul. Mama. My name is Clara Chirambo Gad, Mrs. Gad from Malawi. I have got a problem in my family. My young brothers, they are just dying by car accident. They are drinking, taking a chamber. I want to seek what's the problem with my family. Please help me, man of God. I want you to remember this home. This house is for my mom and dad. My mom was the first wife. My mother passed away. I renovated it. It's where I'm staying myself. But I want the, to remember this. This one. My father have two wives. This is the second wife's uh, house. My dad passed away. But this second uh, wife, she's still alive. This is clear. I, I don't need to add on. You are not here that I cause problems to your families. You are here for the salvation of your soul. I should only pray for you for the, the solution. My family. This is the Lord's prayer for Sister Clara God from Malawi. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we command the spirit of killing, stealing, destruction. Go. Problem. Go and come back no more. Be free in Jesus' holy name. Je m'appelle Kwaku Deni. My name is Kwaku Deni. De la Côte d'Ivoire. From Ivory Coast. Dans ma famille, il n'y a pas de mariage. There's no marriage in my family. Tout à fait qu'on entreprend ne marche pas. Je voudrais savoir ce qui se passe. Anything we do is not working. Ici, c'est la route. The road. Et ici, c'est le campement. Il y a un campement. The village. C'est là où mon grand-père a habité. The house of the grandfather. And where the grandfather was staying. Son grand-frère avait un campement. And his elder son... brother was also having his own village. Quand son, Quand son grand-frère est décédé, c'est lui qui est venu hériter. So when the uh, elder brother died, he came and inherited the elder brother's house. Je, je qu'on a les deux so they buried maison. them at the back of this house. This is the place where people imagined to do witchcraft. C'est un endroit où les gens pratiquaient la sorcellerie. And the demons come to attack you people. Et les démons viennent vous attaquer. And whenever you dream, you dream a fight here. Et à chaque fois que vous, tu rêves, il y a un combat, il y a une bataille. And say, oh retrouves. God, what is this? God, what is Et this? Tu Save me. Seigneur, pour, que, qu'est-ce que c'est? Je Seigneur, confirme, aide-moi. Je confirme la prophétie. He said it's true. Parce que euh, chaque fois que je rêve, je me retrouve dans une forêt. He said je, that je suis, any time he dreams, he will find himself in a forest. Here? Yes. That's why I put this for us. Do I know you? Moi-même, je viens de la Côte d'Ivoire. C'est ma première fois de venir en Uganda. He's from Ivory Coast. The first time he's coming in Uganda. <laughs> Father, they are children. Lord Jesus, thank you for giving them the answer and solving their problem. In Christ Jesus, holy. Amen.
But let me tell you something. When you continue with this continue road, you begin to find rocks. Il y a des rochers qu'on voit, oui. des cailloux. And some rocks appear here. Et il y a des cailloux qui apparaissent, des, des rochers, rochers qui apparaissent. C'est le campement, le premier campement de mon grand-père. This is the first uh, grandfather's village. And there are minnows here. Il y a des minéraux là. Nobody told you that there are a lot of minnows here. Personne ne vous a jamais dit qu'il y a des minéraux là. Mm, Il sait non. A big story. That is why the, the river Désolé. over there, there's contention. Oui, oui, il y a une rivière là. Oui, elle confirme. Yes, il confirme. Oui. There is an issue with the government now. Actuellement, il y a un problème avec le gouvernement concernant le l'eau. Oui, oui, je confirme. Il sait du yes, it's true. Ils ont pris l'eau pour servir toute la tout ici. The government mm -hmm. came there, collected the water to serve the whole region. And he's like, they are not getting anything from it. You are too much. <laughs> what is too much? You are too much, it's Daddy. Jesus, who is too much? Yes. yes. Not me. But, who but is the in Jesus me? in you yes. is too much. That is all. Yes. God be the glory. Amen. Deliverance for this brethren from Ivory Coast. Brother. Where's your wife? I need to pray for you. The marriage issue, disappointment. Yes, disappointment. Man of God, what you are saying is true. I met a lady who was just like this woman. A little bit, but, uh, maybe a little bit shorter. Yes, she was a spiritual daughter to a pastor. I was serving under him in Ghana. So he said I should not marry the daughter. Because if not, I will take her to my country. I request. So I left the place and I, I went back to my country. Let me pray for you to get yeah. money. Amen. The issue now is money. Yes. Father, give him money. Special prayer for breakthrough for this brother from Ivory Coast. Brother, the woman where you buy things doesn't have the daughter. The woman? Mm. Why don't you sit down? Why don't you marry that daughter? There is a shop where you buy things and there's a woman like this. The woman has a daughter. Yes, my... <laughs> I brought the picture. Man of God, this is the picture of the lady you were talking about. Mama. My elder sister. So she was having a... Uh, a fiancé, but the man died. Mm -hmm. But the man was having a, a daughter. Mm -hmm. And my sister took care of the girl. Mm -hmm. So I even brought the, the, pitch, the girl picture to confirm. To confirm whether what? Whether she is the one <laughs> I have to choose. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. To God be the glory. Amen. So go and prepare everything. I prayed for you to get the money. Everything will go on well. Don't worry, I will contribute $3,000 to your wedding. My name is Alfred Mungani from Arari, Zimbabwe. My problem is rise and fall, rise and fall in business. Once upon a time, you people had a grazing land. And we're having a lot of cattle at the grazing land, years back, when my father was still alive. Why I take you back yes. to the grazing land? Eh? Mm, I'm listening. It is that whenever you dream, you dream that you're back to that place. Exactly, man of God. That's very true. Yes, almost. 
almost every time I always dream uh, of this uh, rural home of mine, which is in Gutu, Mashingo province of Zimbabwe. You, Where is this, that grazing land? You would have been a very rich man. You are not even poor, but you are doing uh, contrary to what you are supposed to do. Exactly, man of God. Wherever I go, everyone tells me I'm a multi-millionaire, but right now I'm almost like... Instead zero. of going back to grazing, you take care of the, of the cows. You are here disturbing business people. Go back to grazing. There okay. is money in the meat. Okay. There is money in the meat. Yes, thank you, man of God. Mr. Fadi Mungani from Zimbabwe receiving this prayer of deliverance. My name is Andrew Ndekantunga, Kuwaita from Malawi. Ever since I was, uh, I was born, my life has been at stagnation. I have married two times. This marry and remarry, this is your grandfather's issue. My grandfather married twice. On my father's side, if a person marries one woman, then he's not like a man. They marry and remarry. And my father, after marrying my mother, he also married another woman. For 22 of Ephesians. That you put off concerning your former conduct, mm. the old man which goes corrupt according to the deceitful lusts, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, mm -hmm. and that you put on the new man which was created according to God in true righteousness and holiness. There was a family where the home was, there were trees. They abandoned me here. They want me to die in this place. The old man who lived at this place I'm talking about, he was a little bit darker than you. My name is Andrew Ntunga Koweta. I'm from Malawi. I am here to confirm about the prophecy you talk to me about a dark man in complexion. That dark man in complexion is my father, biological father. Uh, I called home and my sister had to remind me. My dad married before, before he got wedded with my mother. And he also divorced my mom and got married to another woman. So at that time we were too young and we have never been linked up with our father. So when my father, was like he uh, retired, he found the land in a place where there were trees and he got retired and he was staying there. While he was staying there, he, uh, our stepmother was working in the bank and he was staying in town and my father was staying alone at home without somebody to take care of him because he got paralyzed on one side and he, he, and the children also, they, we were abandoned him because there was no link after the separation and divorce with my mom. And my father passed away in April this year. My name is Marshall Eminani from Malawi. The problem which I came here for. I've got a very beautiful house, but each day I always sleep at home, I do eating in the tables. Where is the boy? Mm. I was asking you, where is the boy? Man of God, what you are saying is true. The boy looks like him, but he's a bit shorter, is it is Zambia, Osaka. My background was very bad. So I had to <laughs> exchange women like clothes, yeah? So that one, I battled that one. And you are eating, you are drinking, you are happy there, and you are a beautiful house. Yes, I can say. Why don't you forgive him? Why don't you bring him back? <laughs> Let me move your problem, but there is... Uh... Receiving their deliverance. In Jesus' name. Father, I thank you. Bless your Holy My name is Karoin Shkoma. I'm from Malawi. You have a stomach problem. It comes like... Yes. What you're saying is true, Prophet. I had a problem with my stomach. Always uh, I can feel as if I'm full 
I always take a small portion of food. Sister Caroline from Malawi. Receiving her guys. The madman Jesus. Demon out. I'm the spirit of death. I want to kill her. Your spirit of what? Your spirit of what? Death. Yes. Why do you want to kill her? Oh, this woman. She has a grace, but I tied her. Why? No, I don't want her to reach. She cannot do business. I hold everything. It's Why? mine. Why? Yes. What oh. have you done to her marriage? I want to break her marriage. She always cry every day. It's me. Ah. Ah. Leave me. Leave. Your time is getting over. Your time is getting over. You know. Leave her stomach and go. This is a Caroline from Malawi receiving her deliverance. Clap for Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What is the question you wanted to ask me? Because Thank you, Jesus, for him. In our family, I experienced the death, premature death, for almost it eight years. Over. Thank you, Jesus because Christ. At the garden where there was a kitchen, there was a flower, a tree of a flower. That is where the witchcraft was performed. This is what came to attack you. Yes. It was my mother's house in a long way. We had a flower there. In that house, we lost almost four people. Yeah, my brothers and sister. Now we are free. It is over. My name is Felix Mbegezani from Malawi. I want to know my family that lives so many death and sick. Once upon a time, your family lived, this should be uh, countryside. Well, this is uh, a simple hill. Water used to come from up, like this. Okay. This is water. And they gather somewhere here. All right. Because they, they are like hills, like this, like this, like All right. this. And your people from here used to come and gather water here. Yes, sir. So the water they used to gather from here was contaminated. Man of God, what I'm saying is true. Uh, this is my father's house. To go to the river to set the water there. So the water which you people used to drink or the family used to drink was contaminated. Why? Because water used to come from up, up, and collect here. The place, it has minnows. The components of the minnows are not so good for human consumption. So, you get somebody has got sick. Yes, man of God. Has got sick, the chest is like this. Yes, man of God. Barging like this. Yes. Somebody... The neck is... Yes, man of God. What type of sickness is this? The doctor do not understand Very because true, man of, of God. the contamination. Man of God, what you say is, is true. The brother is buried on now. 8 December died. I buried 9 December. Even my sister, last year, even my father, because of swearing. Are you together? Yes, it's my pastor. Yes. I'm his pastor. 
Brother Felix from Marawi receiving his deliverance. In Jesus' name. Father, we remove this place in Jesus' holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Pastor, rise up. Don't worry. What is it going on in your life? I'm struggling with that ministry prophet. The medium or the shortish woman. Did you marry her? Before you did your wife. Yes. There was a short girl. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what you're saying, man of God, is true. I once dated a girl that looked almost like her. But I didn't marry her. This is the girl who spoiled your life. You can all have peace. That's very true. My name is Jesus. Father, we command the spirit of killing, steal, destruction. Go. Lose your grip. Rise up. The woman still visits you in the dream. Yes. And you see her hugging you like a did. Yes. That short girl. Yes. I keep seeing that woman that I didn't marry it comes in the dreams. Sometimes he will hug me and hold me. Pastor Kanga from Malawi receiving deliverance. Rise up. Go. I have prayed for you. Your church will improve. <laughs> Thank you very much. The, the stomach problem, if you don't change, will kill you. I confirm that I have got an issue with the stomach. My name is Lakson Kungwa, and I'm from Australia, but originally I'm from Zimbabwe. What the prophet of God says about the issue of my stomach is 100% correct. I, I, I've got my, my brother here, Leopard, and my sister. I think yesterday I was talking to them. I said, I've got an issue with my stomach. It depends on me a lot. I don't know what's going to happen. I think it is going to be over two years. Come, come, this. I think this is the issue. Receiving this prayer for his healing. That's Brother Laxon from Australia. Father, give him the grace to live longer. In Jesus' name. Because it has taken like six years. I confirm that to be correct. Because it's been a long time suffering from the stomach. And uh, at a given time, you went to a party. The party was somebody to marry. I confirm that. And uh, you were not so much used to wine or whatever. Uh, I confirm that. I, I didn't even used to wines and yeah, sure, I'm, I confirm the breath be correct. They convinced you. Some people, they actually told me, if you don't drink, it's like, yeah, you're not enjoying all this. It was just in a small glass. That small glass. I confirm to 100% correct. It burnt to your stomach. This is why you dream that you are on a, on a, a very big they have cooked a lot of food and you are seated like this and the smoke is coming or vapor is coming from the food. I confirm 100% correct. And uh, uh, that dream, that dream was like I was uh, in a uh, very big place where people are doing some party. Hello, Jesus Christ is healing the stomach of Brother Luxon from Australia. You are free.